Hi, this is Sandy, and today I want to show you two tips with Evernote that I think are very cool. First, you want to go to your Evernote and click Tools and Import Folders. And you want to set up a folder that you have on your computer that anything you put in there it automatically gets imported into your Evernote so what I've done is because I use Evernote on my phone and my iPad and an additional laptop I keep that folder in my Dropbox and what I've done is I've made a shortcut to that folder and put it on my desktop so I can just click and drag files into that folder and once you put it in that folder, that folder will behave the way you told Evernote to handle this folder. So, like I said, this folder is in my Dropbox, and once you, once you add that folder, you want to set it up to whether or not you want it to also import the subfolders that are in that folder, and I do and then you want to tell Evernote where you would like those files to go once it imports them and I'd like everything to go in my inbox and then I'll distribute it throughout my various various tags and then lastly you want to tell Evernote whether to keep that file or delete it I say delete it because I can never remember if I've already sent something to Evernote or not and if it's deleted once I send it to Evernote then I don't ever have to wonder if I put it there or not okay then you'll click OK now to demonstrate this I've got a couple files that I need to put in Evernote right now and this just eliminates you having to have your Evernote and click and drag stuff from your desktop or other folders to your Evernote and then also because I have it linked up to my my Dropbox then I can put things from my phone in that folder and it will send it to Evernote and it, it's just a little bit of a shortcut you can do this without having the import folder feature set up just by having Dropbox or Evernote installed on all your devices. This is just a couple less clicks for me. It's easier for me to do. Okay, so let me just show you how this works. Like I told you, I have a shortcut to my Evernote Dropbox folder that I've created on my desktop. So then I don't have to open up Dropbox to get these folders into it. I can just click and drag them into that folder from my desktop. Let me open that folder so you can see there they are and you'll see them disappear once Evernote does a sync. Oh, it already imported them. See how they're disappearing from that folder? Because I've told Evernote to delete them once it imports it. So let's go back to Evernote and there's the, there, there are the files. Uh, one of these is a phone call recording that, that I had made, actually a voicemail that was left for me recording I want to save. And then another one is, is an invoice for a client. So, and there they are, they're in my inbox and, and I'm going to distribute them to my tags where they belong. And once I do that, I can put them in my notebook named All Notes to clean out my inbox right now. I have a lot of cleaning to do. I've got 52 files in there that need to be tagged and then I can put them in my other notebook and have my inbox nice and clean and empty. Okay, the other tip that I wanted to show you was the screen clipper setup. And to set that up you'll go to Tools again and Options and you'll click hotkeys and right here this uh, hotkey setup for uh, capturing your screen I've set it up to if I 
if I use the two keys control and P on my keyboard it automatically pulls up the screen clipper and I clip whatever it is I want to send to Evernote and it automatically clips it and sends it so let me show you how that works and you can use any combination of keys you want I think the default is the Windows key and your print screen key but my print screen key is all the way to the top right of my keyboard and it's so much easier for me to get to the letter P than it is to go on my navigate to that that key on my keyboard silly but I just get used to certain things and okay so now let me demo the screen clipper for you so we're back on my desktop and Windows 7 comes with this cool little sticky note app and what I've done is I've made a stack of sticky notes here on my desktop and I keep them there and whatever and I, I kinda color code the kinda note that it is so whenever I want to grab a color note I just click the little plus sign on it and you can make these notes as big or as little as you want and I'm going to make a quick note here, test note for Evernote. And because this app doesn't sync with your other devices and computer, you can send it using the screen clipper to Evernote and then that sticky note will be in Evernote and you can access it from all your devices. So you can make a a thought process, sticky note, a grocery list. It's endless what you can do with what, what you can put on your sticky notes and, and then right away with just the click of two buttons you can send it to Evernote. So right now I'm going to click my control P key and you can see you've got these crosshairs now on your on your screen and what you want to do is hold down your left mouse button after you line this up highlight the note as much or as little of the note that you want and when you let go you see your screen flashes and that sends it to Evernote and there it is in Evernote isn't that cool I know you can think of a thousand ways now that you can use your sticky notes because you can send them to your Evernote and one last thing I want to talk about is my blog. I hope that you'll visit my blog. It's digitally speaking designs at blogspot.com and on this blog I keep videos and tips and also I give away some some free digital stuff that, that you can download. So subscribe to my YouTube channel please and visit my digitally speaking blog please and you can subscribe there too so that whenever I put new stuff up that you can have you know about it first first minute you have a great day thank you bye